out. I look so tired. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna come back when I am on break. I'll show you guys the setup too, so you can see how it's done. So before any clients are allowed to enter the vaccination clinic, they're screened at the entrance by screeners for COVID-like symptoms. If they have any COVID-like symptoms, they are not allowed into the clinic. So usually we don't have lineups at this clinic. However, they do have um, some social distancing parameters, which you can see on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna do a morning huddle, which we do every morning. So how the process works is basically all clients are checked in by the clerks at the front and then they come here and the nurses screen them before giving them the COVID vaccine. Yeah. Um, this is how my station looks like and I'll check in with you guys when I want. So as you can hear, the environment is extremely loud. So it's really important to be able to focus and concentrate, especially when you are interviewing and screening a client. Uh, always ensure that you're prepared and you have everything organized. Your sharps bin is in is within a close reach. Um, so usually I position my chair <clears throat> exactly where it is because majority of people are are right-handed. So I will usually inject them in their non-dominant arm. Uh, and yeah, so it's really important to ensure that you never leave your vaccines unguarded because of safety and it's just really important to always just give whatever vaccines that you haven't used to another nurse, especially if you're just going to the washroom. Lastly, I think the two major key points working as a vaccination nurse, always make sure you have the full consent of the person prior to the injection. Any hesitation, I would honestly always inform them that they may, it may be best for them to hold off on getting the vaccine and like seeking further guidance either from their healthcare provider or looking at credible documents and research. Um, also, it's really important not to give any type of false information or provide any opinionated views regarding the vaccines or other vaccines. Really important. So for the, um, for the Pfizer vaccine, you have to be at least um, above the age of 16 or turning 16 this, within the calendar year and also you have to ensure that you haven't received any other vaccine in the last 14 days before getting the, COVID, the Pfizer vaccine. Right, so how it works is the clerks at the front will check in the clients that are registered and then they come to the bays that each nurse is at and the nurse will complete their screening of the client before administering the vaccine. But yeah, I'm finally on break. So, um, so yeah, there's a total of today we're going to do about 1,500 vaccinations for uh, healthcare workers. So priority settings like hospital workers, healthcare workers. Um, yeah, nothing very different. Um, but majority of healthcare workers um, don't have like past medical history, so it's usually a day that we have less calls. Um, for like the, EM, the EMS to come to assess people further if they have any type of adverse reactions. And it's good because at least we they've already received one dose. Yeah, so the vaccine clinics usually run for 12 hours. So, I mean, it's an all day type of business, which is what I prefer. I like to work longer shifts. I'd rather not work at all. <laughs> But yeah, so I'd rather do 12 hour shifts. Um, yeah, like, nothing else to really talk about. Um, you know, now they give out pins for those that have fully, are fully vaccinated. Um, yeah. So I just finished the, my breakfast break. Honestly, I'm just ready for COVID to done. Like, me and my friends, ready to be outside everyone is ready to be outside like <laughs> so that's it for this video um the shift went by pretty fast after the first half um so 12 hours is over and i'm going home uh all right
Bye guys.